Okay, so welcome back. Um, I've got a film today for you. This is me early in April, April 10th, in fact, fishing some high water here in southern Indiana. And uh, this first little clip just shows you um, that I'm fishing a uh, shad or a chub, creek chub pattern. And I'm fishing it kind of parallel right down the middle of the stream. And um, using sink tip line, had to let the line get down, obviously. But um, very effective pattern. Um, find that um, you know the smallmouth early in the year are very aggressive. And uh, while this isn't a huge one, um, kind of a nice pattern, nice fish, and it kind of gave me the idea of what they were looking for. Uh, this was about a 14-inch fish, and uh, as you can see, pretty aggressive. Had the fly almost completely taken all the way down. Now we kind of switched gears a little bit and uh, I went to a heavier yellow pattern now that I'm fishing uh, perpendicularly, perpendicularly to the uh, to myself and dragging it across and uh, this is this is a technique that takes a little bit more time. Um, you want to kind of get it to allow the fly to have a dead roll kind of trundle bounce off the rocks and uh, when you do that you're going to find that the fish will are, are they're there they're down there they're waiting to be fed even early in the year but they uh, they aren't willing to yet expend a lot of energy they're not very aggressive and as you see here when I um, pull this fly uh, this uh, fish in that once again this fish took the fly almost completely in pretty aggressive and it's uh, kind of a heavy yellow chartreuse rabbit fur rabbit eared type fly Now this fish was uh, just a little bit bigger. He was a little over 15 inches. And um, again, what, uh, you know, you're, you're wanting this fly to bounce and kind of jump from rock to rock. And in doing that, you're gonna get snagged quite a bit. And that's just the way it is. And in fact, um, you have to be willing to set the hook and occasionally you're gonna have to un unsnag yourself and try to do, to, try to do this without actually blowing open a hole, you know, without having to walk in there and, and uh, ruining the hole. But here again, I'm fishing perpendicularly back to myself and letting that, that uh, fly just kind of bounce and tick from rock to rock. And uh, I do that with kind of a high stick method. And I um, allow my left hand to kind of wind the line in hand over hand, and that way I can feel little, you know, small takes, um, even the rocks as it's bouncing along from from uh, rock to rock, but this is a little better fish. This one was uh, 17. Um, clearly not the biggest fish in this pool because there's uh, a few pools on this stretch where I've caught some a little bit bigger, but uh, definitely early in the year it was a, a very nice fish. So anyway, get out there, get going, give it a try. This early spring pattern, um, the fish haven't yet moved up into the shallows and they're not very aggressive. That's going to happen here in just a uh, a few weeks when the water temps start running up, but uh, you can see you can still have a pretty good day even early on. But uh, get out there, get going, and I, uh, I hope this helps.